Good morning. Police investigating what at first seemed like an explosion in northern Spain that killed a man and a woman now believe it was a murder-suicide with a sawn-off shotgun, so authorities said yesterday. According to the Basque Regional Security Chief, a man with a hidden manipulated firearm is presumed to have shot his ex-partner before turning the gun on himself when they met on Tuesday near her home in the fishing town of Arrio. Witnesses interpreted the noise as an explosion from a homemade device, so he told a news conference. The couple were the only victims of the incident. The National Police are investigating the circumstances surrounding the death of a 28-year-old woman whose body was found yesterday in a Torremolinos building. Police were searching for her partner as the alleged perpetrator of the crime, so the protocol was activated for a possible case of gender violence. The incident was discovered yesterday morning in the Carihuela area. According to initial investigations, the victim, a Spanish woman, was allegedly stabbed by her partner whom she lived with. The man, an Italian national, was detained after a manhunt involving a large number of police officers was mounted in the area. The town council has declared a day of official mourning following the incident. In addition, the council has called for a minute's silence at the door of the town hall at midday today. UK police have received a tip-off that a murderer who has been on the run for eight years may be hiding out in Spain. Glenn Wathall was given a life sentence in 1999 for killing his partner in a brutal Christmas Day attack. He was released from prison but broke his licence conditions in February 2015 and is wanted for recall to prison by Staffordshire Police. A man living on the Costa Blanca contacted the force to say they believed that they had seen the 65-year-old in a coastal town near Alicante. The informant says they recognised Wathall from a police mugshot issued by Staffordshire Police last month. The potential sighting has also been reported to the Spanish police crime stoppers in the UK as well as Interpol. And an 84-year-old Spanish mountaineer injured his leg yesterday as he tried to reach the summit of one of Nepal's mountains, one of the two 8,000ers he had left to climb to claim the title of the oldest climber to conquer the world's 14 highest peaks. A Sherpa fell on Carlos Soria, injuring his tibia, so a message posted on his behalf on his Twitter and Facebook account said. The climber, who was on his 15th attempt on the mountain, was preparing to make a push for the summit when the incident occurred. Sherpa guides were bringing him down to base camp to be evacuated to Kathmandu by helicopter. Soria has successfully climbed 12 of the world's 8,000-metre peaks. That's the latest from TRE. I'm Bob James.